Zoho Desk, Ticket ID Customization. Hello everyone! Today's video is all about ticket IDs and how to customize them. Let's begin by answering the question, what is a ticket ID? A ticket ID is a unique reference number that your Zoho Desk system assigns to a ticket when it is created. You can find the ticket ID below the ticket subject line. It consists of a sequence of numbers always preceded by a hashtag. They are always unique and never repeated. As ticket IDs are unique, they can be easily used to locate a specific ticket quickly. You can also use the ID to refer to a ticket in conversations and team feeds. When you do this, Zoho Desk will automatically hyperlink the ticket, making it convenient for everyone to navigate to that specific ticket. Most importantly, your customers can use the ticket ID to follow up on their requests from any channel. This unique reference number can be conveniently customized in your Desk account. You can change the starting number by adding a prefix and suffix. Here is an example. An e-commerce company that sells electronic goods wants ticket IDs to reflect the brand's name. Charles, the support manager and the administrator of the Zoho Desk account, decides to customize the ticket ID to include the brand's name so that it's easier for customers to remember. Let's see how it's done. First, let's go to the Zoho Desk setup menu. Under Customizations, choose General Settings. On this page, go to the Organization-wide Ticket ID option and edit it. This is the next starting number. We can also add the organization's initial ZYL as the prefix, and you can preview the final combination here. From this point forward, all future tickets created in the organization will follow this format. While the starting number increases sequentially, the prefix remains the same for all tickets. This is because we used a static value. However, you can also use a dynamic value, and the prefix or suffix will change from ticket to ticket. To see the available dynamic values, you need to click on the curly brackets in the prefix or suffix field. As an example, let's choose the day and month as the suffix. So, the ticket's suffix will be the date it was created. Now it's more easier for agents to recall the ticket ID of specific tickets. Remember, since we've edited the organization-level ticket ID, the changes we've made will apply across all departments. But if you want to customize a ticket ID for specific departments, that too is possible in Zoho Desk using department-specific ticket IDs. Let's create department-level ticket IDs for few departments. On Zoho Desk's General Settings page, go to the Configure Department-Specific Ticket ID and click Add Department-Specific Ticket ID. Select a department and add a prefix, starting number, and suffix. Adding a prefix or suffix is mandatory for a department-specific ticket ID. This will preclude any chance of duplication. SPAD 101 underscore priority. Let's repeat the same process for the other two departments. Zephone 101 underscore priority. Watch 101 underscore priority. Now we have three departments that follow their own ticket ID formats. All the other departments will follow the org-wide ticket ID format since they don't have a department-specific ID configured. Now, we'll learn about hiding a ticket ID in the subject line of outgoing replies. When you reply to an email ticket from Zoho Desk, the recipient can see the ticket ID in the subject line of the reply. You might prefer to hide the ticket ID from the subject line for various reasons, like to create a more personal connection with the recipient. On this page, find the Hide Ticket ID in Outgoing Replies and click the Adjacent Configure button. Then, select the departments where you want these changes to apply. And that's it! The subject of your email ticket replies will no longer contain the ticket ID when sent from the selected departments. The other option you see below will let you include the ticket ID in Forwarded Replies, simply click the Configure button and select the preferred departments. The replies forwarded from these departments will include the ticket ID in the subject line. This is extremely beneficial for the recipients of such forwards as they can follow up using the ticket IDs. Hope this video helped you understand customizable ticket IDs better. If you need any help with ticket IDs, send an email to support at zohodesk.com.